Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 8, Homework. Number 1. Complete this table such that each y-coordinate is 4 more than the corresponding x-coordinate. So it's saying that the y-coordinate, this, is 4 more than the x-coordinate. So for example, if my x-coordinate was 0, then my y is 4 more. So we're doing plus 4. And my coordinate will be 0, 4. If my x-coordinate was 2, my y-coordinate plus 4 would be 6. And if my x-coordinate was 4, my y-coordinate, 4 plus 4, would be 8. You can choose different points, uh, different x and y-coordinates, but at the end when we draw our line and plot our points, our line should be the same. So it says plot each point on the coordinate plane. So I'm going to plot 0, 4, 2, 6, and 4, 8. Use a straight edge to construct a line connecting these points. Give the coordinates of two other points that fall on this line with x coordinates greater than 18. So x coordinates need to be greater than 18. So if I choose an x coordinate of 20, remember my rule was plus 4, the y would be 24. If I choose an x coordinate of 31, 31 plus 4, my y would be 35. Number 2, complete this table such that each y coordinate is two times as much as the corresponding x coordinate. So this time the y coordinate is two times, so we're doing times two. So let's do zero again. So zero times two would be zero. Actually, let's not do zero. Let's do one. So one times two, my y is two. If I do two, times 2, my y is 4, and if I do 3 times 2, my y is 6. Plot each point on the coordinate plane. So I have 1, 2, 2, 4, and 3, 6. Use a straight edge to draw the line. Give the coordinates of two other points that fall on this line with y coordinates greater than 25. So a y coordinate greater than 25. So for example, if I choose 26 as my y coordinate, the x coordinate is going to be half of that because we're doing x times 2. So half of that is 13 because 13 times 2 is 26. If I choose a y coordinate, let's do 30, then my y would be... 15, because 15 is half of 30. Number three, use the coordinate plane below to complete the following tasks. Graph these lines on the plane. So line L, X is equal to Y, so meaning whatever X is, Y is going to be the same. So if X is 1, Y is 1. If X is 4, Y is 4. If X is 11, y is 11. Okay, so let's plot that line. Line L, we have 1, 1. We have 4, 4. And 11, 11. I'll draw my line. That is line L. I'll choose a new color for line M. So Y is one less than X. So if X is one, Y is one less. So we're doing minus one. If X is seven, Y would be six. And if X is 14, Y would be 13. So we have one zero, seven six, and 14, 13. 
So let's plot those. There's one zero, seven, six, and 14, 13. Now let's draw the line. And that is line M. Let's do line N. Y is one less than twice X. So let's see if I, let me pick an X. I'll pick X of two. So if X is two, Y is one less than twice that. So we're gonna do times two minus one. So two times two is four, minus one, so y would be three. If I have x as four, four times two is eight, minus one, y would be seven. And if I have x as six, six times two is 12, minus one is 11. So let's plot those. Two, three, four, seven, and six, 11. That is line N. Do any of these lines intersect? If yes, identify which ones and give the coordinates of their intersection. So we would say here's where two of them intersect. So lines N and L intersect. And give the coordinates of their intersection. So that this coordinate right here where they intersect, that is 1, 1. Are any of these lines parallel? If yes, identify which ones. So there are two parallel lines. They are lines L and M, because they will never intersect. D, give the rule for another line that would be parallel to the lines you listed in problem 3C. So parallel to lines N and M, which were, or sorry, L and M, which are these two. So notice the rules, either x is equal to y, or we're saying that y is one less than x. So it's just either staying equal, subtracting one, adding one, you could subtract two, you could subtract three, but as long as the y is staying the same and you're adding or subtracting something, it will work. So my rule, I'm going to say, that I'll stick with something close to line M. So I'll say Y is two less than X. Now let's check to see if this rule works. So it's basically saying X minus two equals Y. So if I have my X coordinate of seven, then my Y would be five. If I have an X coordinate of nine, my y would be seven. And if I have an x coordinate of 15, my y would be 13. So let's plot those and see if this works. So we have seven, five right there, nine, seven, and 15, 13. So let's plot it, make sure that it's parallel. So that is parallel, that line will never intersect.